Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today I'm going to be doing another review for you. I thought I'd say hi first and then I'll talk a little bit about the item I'm going to be reviewing and the one I am reviewing is from Amazon. I will put that link down in the description as always so you can find it. So I sent it to review so I did have a peek at it when it arrived in the mail and it looks really good but I haven't put it together. I haven't actually used it in any way so we're going to do that together. I'll show you it up close as I open the box and it does require some assembly so we'll do that on camera as well. So this is the item that I'm going to be sharing with you from Amazon. It's a 100% leather manicure hand pillow so it's for your clients. I know we're all looking for a really comfortable one that's comfortable for us as well as our clients. So hopefully this is gonna be the one and I will put it on my desk after we assemble it and check it out. And yeah, well, I'll give my thoughts of course as always, I'll be honest with you. Either way, I'm gonna tell you that it's good or not good. So we'll get started right away and I'm gonna bring it up close. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. Of course, I showed you the box, but here it is up close. It does say that's 100% leather. And I'm gonna check, take a look because I know there's some things on the back to show you. So this is suitable for most nail lamps. If you have any of these, pretty much any lamp. And this pillow is really good or hand rest because you could put the light directly under it, which is very helpful if you really want to. I tend to have mine at the sides or you can see one in the background there and I have one over there and there's my hand rest I use for my clients now but I will pull that up and put this there after and see if it's gonna work well for me or not and it just tells you the size and color and everything and the height and the weight of course so let's open it up and check it out The box is a nice box that it comes in, of course. Okay, so mine happens to be this really pretty peach color. Hopefully the camera is picking up the color. I'm just gonna bring my lights over a bit better. And of course it's wrapped in this plastic, so I will open it up. And here's the underside. And of course it has the staples and this must be where you're going to have to screw some of the pieces into. And it is a nice leather. It's very soft. It would be really nice. It's big enough too, so you can have both arms on it if you want, which is nice. So let's see what else we've got here. Okay, so we've got legs, it looks like. I'm just going to pull each one out. There's one. It's made really well so far. Like these pieces are really sturdy. And this, of course, is the base. And we've got another one. So there must be four of these. And the last one. So there is four legs and now we've got the pieces to assemble. Oh, and they did give you some lint-free wipes, which is nice. And here's all the little screws. Now let's see. It doesn't look like there's a tool in the box to do this. So I'm gonna have to, maybe it just screws in with your fingers. I'm gonna try it out first. And if it doesn't, I'll get a tool, but we'll just see how it works. I'm gonna move this aside. You will see my vent below, of course. This is right on my desk. So this is sealed nicely. I'm just gonna open it up. Pull all the pieces out, of course. The whole, oh, there is, okay. I take that back. There is a little, the little tool to screw them all in, which is nice. It's nice they do send you some lint-free wipes. Okay, I'm just gonna push this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, take these off, do that, Jesus. 
out. Okay, so there's five holes. So obviously I need five screws for each leg. And it looks like they're already cut, of course, which is good. So this is where, let's see, yeah, this lines up. So obviously this one will be here. So I'm just gonna put it back down on the desk. I'll show you up close. You see the holes all line up, which is good. Remember, I have not tried or done this, so this is new to me, so I'm figuring it out as we go. So I'm gonna take a screw, put it in that hole and find the other one. Just start it and then I'll use the tool. I'm gonna do that with all of them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna turn it. Actually, I should use the other side. I'll use this side. And just turn away. Okay, so that was really easy. Now I'll just screw the rest of these in. Gonna tighten them up and make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, they are. So I'm gonna do the same again. Another leg, and I'm gonna match it up to the right holes. So of course it's gonna be like this. And I'll just show you here again. The holes are matching up perfectly, and they're pre-drilled. There is like the bottom base of the screw. To attach to in there so I'm gonna speed it up now so you don't have to watch me screwing them all in each leg and then I'll be back once I'm done with that La, la, oh, 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 oh. La, 
Okay, so it's done. So I'll flip it around. I'll remove my other armrest and we'll put it there and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Now I do see that there is four extra screws. So I would keep those because if you're using this over time, obviously these could come loose and then you've got extras. It's always good to turn it around once in a while though and tighten those up, but I'm gonna keep those just in case I need them. So we'll just remove this armrest. Now I just have this one down with Velcro, just like that. And there's a piece of Velcro, so I'm not gonna remove that right now because I have to decide if I'm gonna be using this. It does look really good. It's really nice and big, which is good. So I'll put it there. Hopefully it'll hold in place so it's not moving all over when your clients are resting their arms and we'll see here right away. So I'll just do that. So as you can see, it's just very sturdy. It's quite high. So I'm gonna grab one of my lamps. Now, if you wanna put a lamp under it, most of them are gonna fit and I'll show you here. So there is the lamp. They do fit under there nicely. And I know a lot of people like to do that. I have two different ones, so I'll just keep mine at the side. So I'm just gonna move this lamp aside then I'm gonna tell you something that I do really notice that I like about this hand rest. So you can see where my vent is. Now I'm just gonna move my camera to show you. So there is the edge of my desk where I'm working. Well, I did have this placed when I had my desk custom made, I had it pushed too much that way. It should have been more this way, this vent. So when my clients put their hands on my desk, I find they're coming about here. So I'm always having to push them back over the vent where I think this armrest is really gonna help. It's gonna hold their hands up higher. So they're gonna come down right above my vent and I'm gonna be able to file without having to keep pushing their hand back because it's gonna be right up here. So that is a really nice plus with this armrest. Now this thing is extremely sturdy and strong. I'm actually gonna go over to that side and I'll show you how my arms will rest on it. And yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more when I get over there, so I'll be right back. So here I am sitting as a client, sorry if you can't see my whole face. And here's the armrest. Now this is what's gonna be really nice. Now that this is so wide, and I find some of the armrests that are up higher are so narrow that you only can put one hand at a time. Well, if my client wants to rest both of their hands, they're ready to go. And as you can see, I'm right over the vent now, whereas before, I'll show you here, I'm even gonna move this to show you. So before, with this here, they're always like this. I hope you can see that in the camera, but I'm way over the vent. So this way, like they just have trouble keeping their hands here. It's always like this. So with this, oops, with this, it's gonna be perfect. And this does not move. I really like that. Like it's not easy to move. It's just the way the legs, the base is almost, it's not suction, but it almost feels like it's suction. But anyways, this is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna give this a try for a bit and let you know what my clients think of it and how I think it is for working with it. So my overall thoughts of this hand rest is it is excellent. It's made well, it's very sturdy. They give you extra parts. It's a really pretty color. It's nice and big. I highly recommend this one. I can't really say anything negative about it because it's gonna work perfect with my nail vent. So I wanna thank the Amazon store for sending me this to review and share with you. Again, I'll have that link down in the description of this video. And if you have any questions or anything about it that I might've forgotten, please ask me in the comments. And if you did like this video, and if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everybody that uh, does subscribe and watches my videos. You guys, I love you all. And I will be back in the next one.